it is 20 years of work it's because we have older pieces uh, from 1988 to now and it gives a, a, a taste of all of the aspects of my work that I do, not only my embroidered work, my embroidered painting pieces, but these are my garden pieces, the, the RFGA, the works with photo, the installation, and etc. It, it is woman that I withdraw from the magazine. I choose the one that I find sexy. Maybe I like the powerful one. Maybe, maybe I, the way I draw, I render them powerful. Anyway, all of this work is for me to empower myself more than really empower the woman. I'm not here with a message uh, uh, to, 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 to teach about anybody else's sexuality. Or I have enough, already a lot of uh, problem and difficulties with my own. <laughs> you know what I mean? How did we all, uh, like people, men and women, uh, Muslim, Jewish, Christian, got into this uh, this terrible situation where our body became our enemy. So repressed and so miserable. My drawing are my diaries. I don't know how to talk about them conceptually. Like, uh, yes, it's about princesses and fairy tales and um, love. Like this is my my thing. I have been trained as in drawing because the painting teacher wouldn't teach me to paint, so I had to draw. So, so I had no other choice, and so everything that um, I do is, is about drawing. It's not to prepare the canvas. Uh, this is the full definition of the word the freedom, love, security, and peace. And their definition in Arabic, written and embroidered in Arabic, four panels. And I chose to show them in a non-Arabic speaking country because I wanted people to just look at the world and deliberately not understand them. <laughs> There's no understanding of this of this world when you see it and you don't understand the language. You just see it as a decoration, not important. This world probably they don't love the same way that we do or they don't have security the same way we do. I wanted as well to prove to myself that those words still exist in our dictionary and to prove to the others that we, we happen to have as well those words, which is not um, associated as well media with this uh, culture, with the Arabic culture anymore because of all of the violence, because they put in advance all the violence and not as well the, the good things. I love Paris. It's a collaboration between me and another artist uh, from Iran called, um, her name is Ladan Charot Naderi. I did this piece. Uh, in 91. It is during this period there was a lot of uh, terrorist uh, attacks in France. Uh, it was clear that anything Muslim is scary, terrorist, it's not good to be like this, they have to look like us. The same discourse that now after uh, September 11 uh, you in America have. So we were thinking we don't, we don't like that shadow either or we don't like them. We don't want to be forced to wear this. But as well, we don't want to force the other people to unwear. Everybody is, should be free and everybody should respect this choice. We thought uh, that we wanted to, to, to make this point. So we did this um, series of um, visiting Paris as if we were like uh, uh, tourists and we just, this is the way we, we have been brought up. And it was very badly received in Paris at the time. <laughs> This is the ideal couple. It's kind of the skin that you want to go inside, as well as straight jackets. I wrote Barbie Love Scan, Barbie Love Scan as a punishment. It's about a ridiculous couple that are a little bit um, mad, obsessed. Since uh, 2000, 2001, I uh, have a series that is labeled RFGA. And it's in the title and in the signature, and the RFGA stands for Reza Falcondé Gadamer, and it acknowledges all of the painting that uh, Reza Falcondé has collaborated in with another artist I, I met at school. In 98, he's uh, hit by very, very severe depression. He's a painter himself and he stopped painting. Then in 2000 or 2001, he, he, started, he decided to paint on my canvas without being invited. So, but it started uh, this very beautiful dialogue and he started to become better and uh, for me it was very magical. 
it really developed my painting and um, it's important I think that a lot of my artwork comes from life it's experience it's like things happen by accidents 